What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you a little piece of Pro Tools 9. Now Pro Tools 9 is a recording software that allows you to record um, music, instruments, uh, anything audio based into your computer. Now Pro Tools 9 is pretty much used uh, by most studios. It is the industry standard program from a professional setting to a home recording studio setting, uh, most users use this program. So let's go ahead and take a, a, a look at this. You can also view previous videos and future videos about Pro Tools 9 at mahalo.com slash Pro Tools 9. But let's go ahead and focus in on today, which is the random pencil tool. Now, I know that sounds kind of weird, like ran what do you mean by random? Is that, that can't be a tool. Well, it actually really is a tool inside of Pro Tools 9 because sometimes that track, whether it's like a lead guitar, uh, lead guitar track or sometimes it's like some crazy synth sound that you want to be panned crazy, whether it's volume or the uh, pan. It's mainly used for pan. A lot of uh, what I've seen done in production is pan. If I want the pan to start all the way to the left and then instantly go all the way to the right, and then maybe instantly go to the middle, then instantly go maybe a little to the left, but not all the way, then instantly go a little to the right, but not all the way. So let me show you how to do that. It's super simple. It's almost like a click and drag type of thing. So open up your Pro Tools 9 session like I have so here. And let's go ahead and focus in on what I'm going to work on. I'm going to work on this guitar track right here. So let's go ahead and zoom in on that. And once we're taking a listen, focus in on the audio waveform and where things are as you're listening um, so we can see where the stop, the um, start and stop ends for the, our automation that we're working on. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the, there's a ring out and then the lead guitar starts right on this measure right here. So we want to start our automation right on that measure and then to the end over here. All right, guys, so first off, we, of course, need to select the random pencil tool. So let's go ahead and cruise up here. And you just click and hold on this pencil guy right here. And then you just select the random tool. Now this is where you can access other pencil tools as well. But we want to work on random, zoom out, and let's zoom back in here. Now this track right here, if you don't know, is the pan track. You can change this to volume, mute, whatever you want to work on. You can also add more automation tracks as well. Okay, so and as well as left is on top, R is on bottom as far as panning. So wherever this black line is, since it's it, is it, a, it is in the middle, that means it's on the middle of versus left versus right. So they're both equally getting the same amount. All right, so that now, now that you guys know that, let's go ahead and zoom in. Let me get myself out of the way so I can uh, really show you guys. So what you want to do is you want to start from the measure uh, wherever you're working on and click start from the middle because the middle gives you a good basis of um, if you want it to pan all the way left, all the way right, and I'll show you what I mean right now is click and drag a little bit to the right. Now lift um, up or down. Depending on what side you want to start your random automation, uh, if you go up, like I said before, up means left and down means right. So if you want it to start on the right or left, just on your preference. And just simply click and drag. As you can see, the randomness is just crazy, crazy. So let's click and drag and move. So as I drag, it changes every time, just so it's more random every single time. Um, so, if I click and let go, as you can see, that would be insane to try and do that by hand, to try and, and emulate or just recreate this by hand. That's why Pro Tools has this. It's just like, all right, you know what, sometimes we need some craziness and it just, it doesn't need to be um, correctly, okay, I need to gradually go here and gradually go back to the right. It's just, I want to be crazy. All right, so let's go ahead and fix this up a little bit. Um, click and move this guy, whoops. Um, let's go ahead and select the grabber tool, which is this hand right here, and zoom back down. Grab this guy, bring him down to the center because we want, obviously, our track to start from the center and then do its crazy thing. And, um, and then the ending is good. All right, so let's, let's take a listen to what we have now.
Okay, so as you can see, it's kind of crazy. It, it goes to the left. Sometimes it, it stays a little bit in the middle. It just jumps all the way to the left. That is what I mean. So let's go ahead and well, let's lower the volume just a little bit. And let's bring in the rest of the track with all of the instruments and take a listen in context with everything else. All right, so there you guys go. That is the uh, random pencil tool. It allows you to help automation uh, for versus panning left and right. Now, once again, you can also do this for volume and um, mute. Well, mute is more off and down, so it's really much just volume and, and panning um, if you want your volume to go up and down very quickly and randomly like that. So there you go. There you guys go. This is Pro Tools 9, and you can also check out other videos at mahalo.com slash Pro Tools 9. And as well, please shoot me uh, an email if you have any questions about Pro Tools 9 recording at requests at mahalo.com. Also, rate, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you, guys.